The Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Blockchain Super Conference is coming to Dallas, Texas, February 16, 17, and 18 in 2018. If you know of a better way to get the latest insider knowledge about crypto, to hear directly from the top minds in this field, to interact personally with 800 fellow crypto lovers, hodlers, investors, miners, traders, developers, and founders, then I'd like to hear about it. If you don't, then you don't want to miss out. Register today for the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Blockchain Super Conference. Go to BitcoinSuperConference.com and register today as a super early bird to get the lowest rates on tickets and hotel rooms. That's BitcoinSuperConference.com. Welcome to Almost Here, Round the Corner of Future Technology Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Future technologies poised to transform our lives for better or worse are the focus of this podcast. Almost Here means these technologies are now here and starting to be used or just around the corner from Bitcoin to artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, virtual reality, and more. Hello, this is Richard Jacobs with Future Tech Podcast. My guest today is Paul Snow. Uh, he's a part of Factum, but uh, we're going to be talking about the Texas Bitcoin Conference that's coming end of this October uh, to Austin, Texas. Paul, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing, Richard? Good, good. Yeah. So tell me about the conference then. How many years have you been doing it? And uh... Well, the Texas Bitcoin Conference, the first one was in uh, 2014. And uh, it grew out of interest in promoting Bitcoin and our the Texas uh, uh, meetup group here in Austin. Uh, we, we had an incredibly active group and still have a pretty active meetup group uh, scene for cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and blockchain in general. And uh, I pretty much quit my job and and put on this conference. Oh really? So it's taking up all your time right now on your Well it did it did back in uh, the end of twenty thirteen and mm. the beginning of twenty fourteen. And then um, after the conference uh, I uh, started working on Factum and uh, began designing this data layer for the Bitcoin blockchain basically because I foresaw a need to help scale Bitcoin, and Bitcoin has a lot of capability for being an immutable ledger for data services, and Factum basically provides that ability um, using Bitcoin security for a bunch of data. But before uh, Factum, uh, my first foray into the Bitcoin space was to put this conference together along with a bunch of other people from the meetup group. Yeah, what do you feel like you got out of putting the conference on? You've done it several times. Obviously, you liked it. You got something out of it. So what, what did it do for you? Well, I, I think it was a lot of fun. It, it's great to meet a lot of people in the Bitcoin space and to bring a lot of the people together. Uh, Vitalik came to the first oh, Bitcoin cool. conference. Did um, you feed him? Uh, yeah, we always make sure Vitalik is fed. He, he will program and, and forget to eat. And uh, yeah, yeah, and we had a big hackathon and um, just had a great experience. Uh, then uh, we put on the conference again in 2014, we moved it downtown in uh, Austin, and uh, had an, another great experience. I spent uh, most of 2015 working very hard on Factum uh, programming and developing and uh, it became uh, or 2015 and 2016 and it became time to do another conference so uh, I thought the time was right found a venue and a spot in the calendar that didn't look too crowded and put it on the calendar and started working on it yeah and people listening mostly are, you know, goers, attendees, some may be speakers, some may be sponsors, but any inside baseball on conferences that people don't see, you know, as an attendee, but they should appreciate? Well, there are a lot of conferences that have different, uh, what do you want to call it, values, um, have ascribed to different uh, 
interests in the space. Uh, Consensus is a, is a very big, or was a very big conference uh, this year, mm. massive conference, in fact, and uh, focused a lot on the business it was in New York. Expensive, and, yeah. Yeah, well, it was an expensive conference, but it was it was all about the money and the and the ties to business and where to go. The New York agreement came out of that conference, which okay. has led to Segwit 2X mm-hmm. and um, all the fun and games that we've um, been watching with that. Um, and then, of course, coming right into August and various deadlines on Segwit, uh, we had uh, um, Bitcoin Cash arise. Uh, not really from within a conference, as I recall. I could be wrong about that. Uh, the the 2013 Bitcoin conference in Silicon Valley was a was a landmark conference, um, and the inside Bitcoin conferences, while those lasted, uh, they went worldwide. And were uh, uh, there were just tons of them, and uh, they kind of uh, uh, shut their doors on that in 20. 15, 2016, I forget when the last one was, um, but uh, they that did a lot to educate people about Bitcoin in the cryptocurrency space. Of course, Ethereum has been running a few conferences that focus on uh, smart contracts and a lot of the things that they're doing. Uh, Texas Bitcoin Conference has always been about how people can interact with the cryptocurrency space. Um, we 2013, w- I mean 2014 was largely focused on merchant adoption and how Bitcoin was going to change the world uh, through uh, being a better payment rail. Uh, 2015, we we started getting more interested in projects on top of the blockchain, mm-hmm. uh, things like Factum, but uh, other projects as well, and. Uh, now we're kind of moving away. I mean, Bitcoin itself has, has proven to be a little too early to serve as a, as a payment rail. Uh, we're, we're awaiting some sort of scaling technology, whether we shard networks or whether we create side chains or whether we create lightning networks or, or some other innovation that has yet to be uh, proposed. Bitcoin is looking for this uh, mechanism to scale. Mm. Um, uh, out of Ethereum, we've we've seen some things like Plasma and whatnot, which may provide a means of scaling uh, payments, at least on Ethereum. Um, I you know I don't know where that's going to go. So right now, I think this is a period of great innovation, and people are looking to see how to use the blockchain to solve real problems and maybe how to where to invest how to how to take part in it in such a way that if if not even if when cryptocurrency explodes that they that they they've got a role they've got a piece of it right. and so a lot of this conference is going to be focused on that focused on the technology the opportunities uh, how to use cryptocurrencies as a store of value, how, uh, you know, what your options there are, what the taxes and regulations around them are. Um, and, and that this is just being realistic and to cover some of the co- uh, controversies. Uh, what, okay. what does Bitcoin Cash mean for Bitcoin? What does uh, Segwit2x mean? Mm. Uh, you know, what is the roadmap going forward? We're, we're going to be covering all those kinds of topics in uh, in this conference, and you know, the uh, Segwit Two X goes live somewhere in the middle of November. Yes, yeah, so it's like two weeks after, right? Yeah, two weeks after. Wow. So this will be a great conference to get the last word from some of the best people in the space before this happens, mm. and, and and maybe uh, be able to figure out what what uh, people want to do. Prior to that uh, event, any uh, I know 
probably in, in your head, you probably don't know all those speakers, but maybe one, two, or three speakers that are going to be talking about topics you think would be really interesting to people? Well, uh, Bruce Fenton is always um, incredibly interesting. It looks like we have a good chance of um, uh, getting uh, uh, Jeff Berwick to come and mm-hmm. talk to us. Um, He's with the Dollar Vigilante. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, and that's a bit of the... Um, anarchist space and, and and thinking outside the box in terms of what crypto means to the to the, the broader world and whatnot we've got um, well it 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 uh, we're, we've got people coming from uh, Medici and overstock to talk about oh, nice. uh, what they're doing in terms of investment and in their projects um, and, I'll be talking a little bit and in in helping with some panels to uh, bring insight into the Bitcoin space. So yeah, Paul, tell me about a couple more of the speakers. Well, uh, we're going to have uh, Trace Meyer uh, coming, and and he's a really really bright guy. In what does he space. do? I've, I've heard well, his name. But... He he's a investor and uh, VC sort of guy, and. Um, very, very uh, um, tuned in to what's going on in the crypto space, um, and uh, well, you know, I, she what, was. What about Jamie Dimon? You're going to ask him to come? Yeah, I'll ask. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd love to have Jamie Dimon come. Uh, nothing, nothing would uh, be uh, better than to uh, bring him in and. You could have a celebrity death match with you know yeah, some yeah, of the yeah. crypto anarchists. Yeah, you know. yeah. Um, yeah, the, and, and there are a few speakers that I can't really talk about that, okay. that, 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 are, that are in the wings and we're just doing some finalization, um, actually some of our better speakers. Cool. And uh, there, there'll be, these are going to be the people that you really want to hear from um, it, that'll be bringing a lot of um, insight into what's going on. Uh, we, we're not big in dog, on dogma. At the Texas Bitcoin Conference, we're uh, trying to do some honest analysis of what's going on in the space. Uh, we recognize that there are, you know, hugely strong opinions uh, um, about scaling Bitcoin, about Bitcoin security, um, and and there are people that feel um, very strongly um, both for on chain scalability as well as off-chain scalability and we will discuss all the the details of what people are talking about um, about those positions uh, but we, we're not going to really take a hard stand one way or another okay. it's more about education than it is trying to uh, convert anyone to the one true way right. the one true crypto way or one coin the one coin way. The one coin way. <laughs> God forbid. Yeah. So what? It's open to people from anywhere, right? Not just Texas. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you go to uh, TexasBitcoinConference.com dot com, and uh, you can register there and uh, um, get all the information that you need. Um, ask. There's a support thing to send questions to us, and we we will talk to you about uh, whatever questions you have. And uh, there are a bunch of discount codes floating around. Cool. And uh, uh, listeners can use the discount code CRYPTO for uh, 10% off. Um, and we're generating a few that, that might even have a little better um, cut for you um, if you're a military service or you're a student. So okay. just uh, ask for those codes and we'll get them for you. And any groups that um, should attend or shouldn't attend? You know, what if I know nothing? <laughs> is, what, what if yeah. I, literally, what if I know nothing and I want to go and this is my first exposure to blockchain? We, we're going to have workshops that cover uh, really basics. We'll have workshops that cover in-depth um, investment, uh, regulation, taxes, uh, some of the key technologies. We're going to have speakers that cover all those topics. And uh, you'll meet, there's going to be a lot of networking time 
in our conference, we'll be following uh, the 2020-20 format, which means speeches last 20 minutes. We get 20 minutes to ask questions of the speakers, and then there's 20 minutes before the next uh, speech, so that even if you're one of these people that just has to listen to every presentation to feel like you got your money's worth out of the conference, you'll still have networking time, time to Great. talk to other people, uh, relax, take a nice relaxed pace, ask questions of your neighbors about what, what came up in the last speech, and um, really let it sink in before before the next speech comes and mm-hmm. drives you into another topic or in, in, into another uh, direction. That's true. What about uh, vendors or exhibitors? Yeah, Any we, companies you can mention? Yeah, we'll have, um, well, uh, companies. Uh, I don't have a vendor list in front of me. Uh, we, we have a few vendors that will be there, and, of course, we have our um, sponsors. Well, they'll, they'll be represented well at the conference. Well, yeah, yeah. Bit, Bitcoin.com is, is, uh, is a sponsor as well as uh, Multicoin. Factum's a sponsor, and uh, Block um, is a sponsor. A bunch of others. I I really should get the sponsor list. That's all right. Any, um, are you guys gonna have any physical Bitcoin sellers? It's uh, an area I just was introduced to. This like the Satori's, the Casatias, any yeah, yeah. paper I, wallets. I, I wallets. Pro- probably not. I don't know that that we have any of those guys signed up. We might might have them. A lot of times, the, the, those kind of guys slip in at the very end. Oh, okay. Um, they they tend to be opportunistic, and uh, it, it's really rather surprising. Um, you you'll. In, in your conference, you'll find you'll send you'll sell out all your vendor space, uh, okay. even if it happens late in the game. Hmm. So. Interesting. All right. Anything else that you think is going to make this conference really unique? Well, I mean, it it will have the Austin vibe. It will have a lot of people that that really know a lot of inside stuff. You know, people like Brian Deary running around and David and myself and. Uh, We've got some people with Multicoin uh, that know quite a bit about um, the funding and investment in this space. Um, uh, it uh, is probably going to be one of the best conferences you can go to and pretty much find uh, some of the experts to answer your specific questions. I, 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 I do think it'll be a very informative conference for okay. for people. All right, so last couple of questions. Basic details. What's the website? The schedule, the days, all that. The website is um, texasbitcoinconference.com. Mm-hmm. The uh, dates are October 28th and 29th of 2017. Uh, the location is the um, Austin Realtor Center on Spicewood Spring. All right. So, where is the location of the Texas Bitcoin Conference? Yeah, we're we're on the uh, we're going to be in the Canyon View Event Center um, in the uh, Rolling Hills of Austin. It's on uh, Spicewood Springs Road um, here in North Austin, and about 15 minutes from downtown. Okay. Um, it's an incredibly beautiful uh, venue, and, and it'll be a lot of fun. Nice. And then um, what about sponsors and uh, vendors? Any particular names stand out that you want to talk about? Well, sure. Um, our, our gold sponsor is Bitcoin.com, and we have a number of... What's that? Okay. <laughs> A number of uh, uh, silver sponsors, um, Blockchain Capital, Factum, and Polymath. And uh, we've got uh, Medici as a silver sponsor. And the Crypto Show is a co-organizer and sponsor of the conference as well. And uh, they've done a huge amount to, to help us and, and put the uh, conference together. Okay, and I can just you know, give my personal endorsement. I haven't been there, but I know Paul 
and Brian and David, and I go to the meetups, you know, with Factum, and been going for about a year. I learned a tremendous amount. They're always very open and giving. So anyone that's listening, you know, whether you're in Texas or not, I recommend you come because if they're putting the conference on, it's going to be good, in my opinion. I'm going. Perhaps listeners want to meet me there, but regardless, uh, I endorse it. I think it's going to be a great event. So thanks, Paul. I appreciate it. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate it. The Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Blockchain Super Conference is coming to Dallas, Texas, February 16, 17, and 18 in 2018. If you know of a better way to get the latest insider knowledge about crypto, to hear directly from the top minds in this field, to interact personally with 800 fellow crypto lovers, hodlers, investors, miners, traders, developers, and founders, then I'd like to hear about it. If you don't, then you don't want to miss out. Register today for the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Blockchain Super Conference. Go to BitcoinSuperConference.com and register today as a super early bird to get the lowest rates on tickets and hotel rooms. That's BitcoinSuperConference.com. You have been listening to Almost Here, Around the Corner Future Technology Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Subscribe to this podcast, post a review, to discover more future technologies that are poised to transform our lives for better or worse, such as Bitcoin, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, virtual reality, and more.